<coughs> okay. Okay. So today we're going to talk about the removing of network limits. Now, there's a, both a benefit and a downside to this. Um, the benefit is that you can make massive levels like this big, which takes up this entire level takes up a good 70% of the grid. All right. Let's see all these rooms I got set up here. So there's a lot. Um, so that's the benefit to all this. The downside is that your load times are greatly and going to be increased because this turns the engine from it takes six to it takes five. And if you've seen it take five, it takes a long time for levels to load up unless you're running on a really powerful PC a really powerful console for that matter, your load times are going to be really long. So, keep that in mind when you turn the feature off. <coughs> also, you're not uh, that open, actually, because if you look at my objects, they're at 45%, and my memory's at 71%. Um, so, you're still going to build up on a lot of memory. <coughs> so, you got to keep an eye out for stuff like that. Uh, but if you want to build really, really big levels and have them at least with some detail, you can do that now. So now the big question is, okay, well, how do you turn uh, this thing off? Okay, just go here. Map settings. This is new. And it's right there. <clears throat> now here's the thing about this option, though. Once you activate it, you can't deactivate it. It's stuck there no matter what. <clears throat> okay, so once it's on there, as soon as you save your level, that's it. It's stuck this way. The only way to get rid of that is if you delete your level and then start over again. So if you activate this option, don't save your level. Okay, just <coughs> just either you know go back to the main menu screen, go back to the previous save, or just delete it and start over again. Okay. <coughs> now for levels like this, this is okay. Um, or if you're gonna have levels with at least some amount of detail, not too much, you you you'll, you'll do just fine. When it comes to AI and other stuff like that, uh, that's it. Uh, you're going to have to really be careful what you do here. And again, these are pretty big levels that you can make out of this. <coughs> now, one thing you want to watch out for is if you load up... I'm not going to save it. <coughs> if you load up a, pre a previous map <coughs> with a lot of detail in it, like this one here. <coughs> This is my map from earlier. Now, on maps like this, um, network is not going to help you at all. Because if you want to expand on this, you can just forget it. It's not going to work. <clears throat> and here's why. So, if I go to map settings, turn that on. Confirm. Okay, so now it's on, so network is no longer dictated. But if I try to copy it, this room over and try to multiply it, this happens. Oh, it's not doing it this time. There we go. That's what happens when you do it to a pre-existing level with a lot of detail in it. <clears throat> okay? So, uh, yeah, you, you're you not that open with it. And levels with this much detail, there's no way you're going to be able to do it. So... It could be due to the AI, it could be due to all the items in here. I do know that I was only able to multiply this room five times before the game stopped me. So, I think I make it six or seven times, but that's it. Even with the network off, it's still, you're still limited by how many objects you can have in here and how much stuff you can do. Okay? But for areas with less detail, it works great. Okay, I'm not even going to argue with that. It's, it works way better for areas with less detail that are much more easier to design. And that's exactly what you want. You want to have that. Let me go back to the other level real quick. What the, oh, oops, wrong level. Okay. Now, wait for the load up. Now, um, the thing about the network limits, though, is that you have to understand this one other part. Of them. Um, uh, this really only works with the grid rooms, okay? Like uh, rooms like this. 
This is a classic one. You can use the modern ones also. It only works with rooms like this because you have to custom build everything, right? If you try to use a normal room like this one, that's going to kick up your memory and your objects, no matter what. Okay, you cannot avoid that. It's going to happen no matter what. It's only the network option that you can drop, which cuts down on uh, objects within your level, like anything custom built, like these items here, or some of these trees, or other things like that. Okay, um, they'll still build up in the memory a little bit, but it'll be a lot slower, so you can still put a lot more stuff in your level. All right. If you want to do normal spots like this, you're better off leaving the thing off. You're better off just doing it normal because it's not going to make a difference when it comes to areas like this one. Okay? These areas, they fill up your object and memory up really fast. So just, if you're going to make levels with this much detail in them, don't bother. If you're going to make levels where you custom make everything, uh, it works more towards that. Okay? So that is uh, based on the information I got right now on that. Hope you found this helpful, and until then, you all take care.